Rancho Genesis is a place of opportunity where kids get to be kids. What they've built here and are continuing to build is a safe space for us to easily exchange God's love. And here, I was able to see clearly how big our God is. It was just so beautiful to be surrounded by the mountains and stand in awe of the millions of stars right before we all went to bed. A moment I felt God move was just on that first day reuniting with Dulce. She brought me so much joy after not seeing her over two years because of the pandemic. And she's the reason I went, and I was the reason she came. It was a reminder that we were both in the place that God wanted us to be. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and my niña's name was Sarai. And um, just something that was so amazing about her is that she was so welcoming and she was so kind. And she's just the kind of person that would uh, just get along with everyone and that everyone would like so much. Um, even on the first day, she was so welcoming and even though I was supposed to take care of her, I saw that she was taking care of the other kids and she was also taking care of me sometimes too. And she also told me that God had someone special for her and she was telling me that it was me God had told her about. And I just felt so moved by that because right then I knew that God had been in control of my life the whole entire time, even though I felt that I was so distant from him. Hi, this is Tristan. Uh, this was my second time going to Mexico. Uh, my favorite part about the trip was being able to talk to the kids in Spanish, even if it was a little limited. Um, I want to give a shout out to Pastor Andy for helping me and encouraging me throughout the trip. Um, he really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Overall, the trip was difficult, but it was also really blessed. What I really enjoyed about the trip is how um, it was a relationship building rather than... I'm so used to building for building homes. And uh, I mean, that it's, it's a great mission as well. But building relationship and really getting to know uh, what God is doing in different part of the world. I, I think it was something eye-opening even more so. Uh, uh, maybe it's because it was post-COVID as well, but I, I think that was something that I really, really enjoyed about this trip, just being able to see what God is doing, what He's up to, and just being able to be part of that. I think there's nowhere better that that we can be in. But one shout-out that I will give to is uh, Elijah, because Elijah had one of the most uh, physically demanding child, and just the pure effort uh, that he put in to really um, give Ezekiel the best time possible. So much so that he got basically a moment at the end of the trip. I, I mean, there is, uh, there, you have earned my respect and shout out to Elijah. Hi, my name is Elijah. And during our trip in Mexico, I think the most challenging part for me and how I overcame it was trying to like have my Nino trust and connect with me because I found myself struggling to gain my Nino's trust. But then one night on our fair night, when there was a fair, my Nino was scared of all the people and he wanted snow cones and snacks. So he was following me around and listening to me. And I think I gained his trust that night. I'm Paul and my Nino's name is Angel. I would describe him as a funny, energetic, loving and kind kid. My favorite moment with him was at the fair, where I got to follow him and learn what kind of games and food he enjoys. I'm really glad I got to meet my Nino. One thing I enjoyed about the Mexico mission trip is performing in front of the Nino and Niñas and the other church members that were there.
When I saw them jumping up and down and clapping and chanting for us, it made me really happy. And I really loved about how we had we get a new Bible verse every morning, and we had it to make a summarize about it, and it was really it really helped me a lot. My name is Amanda, and my niña is Paula. She is always smiling, even though the rest of her face is not so quite happy. The things that I enjoyed is just watching Paula being happy, and it was totally worth it. I was happy that I could help Rancho Genesis be a, a little better than before. Going to Mexico mission trip, my niña was a very nice and caring person, but. One difficult thing was that she was a girl and that it was hard for me to interact with her because she would always follow other girls and talk to them. I found out that I was always waiting for her to take the first step, but I should be the one to take the first step. And just that, through that, I think I became good friends with her. Hello, my niña's name is Daniela, and my favorite experience with her in Mexico was our trip at the beach. We both didn't want to swim, so instead we collected seashells. We would help each other look for the seashells, and I think it was such a great bonding experience because we didn't have to use our words to communicate and show how much we cared and loved each other. I also want to give a shout out to all of the people that went to Mexico for the first time this year. They didn't know what to expect, and they didn't expect much. But they all came with a good heart and mindset and were willing to give all their time to the niños. Thank you to our church for all your prayers that our team goes to Mexico and comes back safely. We all had a splendid and joyful time and each individual felt God's love working towards us. Uh, I hope we all want to join Mexico Mission Trip again next year. Thank you.